When Albert Einstein died on April 18, 1955, his body should have been cremated entirely according to his wishes. However, during the autopsy, pathologist Thomas Harvey made a fateful decision that would spark decades of controversy. He removed Einstein's brain without proper authorization. Harvey, working at Princeton Hospital, recognized a unique opportunity to study the neurological basis of genius. After hastily preserving the brain by cutting it into 240 blocks and embedding them in celloidin, Harvey kept most specimens in two mason jars inside a cider box under a beer cooler. The theft remained relatively unknown until 1978, when a reporter tracked Harvey down in Wichita, Kansas, still in possession of the purloined organ. Despite lacking formal authorization, Harvey eventually convinced Einstein's son Hans Albert to retroactively approve some scientific study of the brain. For decades, Harvey shared brain samples with researchers worldwide, traveling with brain sections in the trunk of his car. Several studies claimed to find unique features in Einstein's brain, including an unusual pattern of grooves in his parietal lobe and a higher ratio of glial cells. Today, most remaining specimens reside at the National Museum of Health and Medicine and Princeton University, serving as a peculiar testament to both scientific curiosity and ethical boundaries.